Hello friends, welcome back to the Selenium tutorial. In this tutorial, we would be covering an add-on called Firebug. Now, what is this Firebug? Basically, Firebug, like the Selenium IDE, acts as an add-on to the Mozilla Firefox browser. Now, why it is important? Whenever we are doing automation with tools like Selenium, we need the internal properties, the HTML properties of web elements like text boxes, links, drop down list. So in order to fetch these internal HTML properties, Firebug is of a great help. So in this tutorial, we would be learning how to download and install Firebug on the Firefox browser, but how to actually use the Firebug to extract these IDs and the other HTML properties, which we would be covering in a separate tutorial. The focus of this tutorial would be only on downloading and installation of Firebug. Now with Firebug, we have another add-on called Firepath, which is quite similar. So we would also be covering how to install Firepath in this tutorial. So let's start. So for installing Firebug and Firepath, Firepath we require this Mozilla Firefox browser. It should be launched. I have already launched it. I would go to the top right hand corner where I could see these three horizontal lines with the uh, option open menu I would click over there there I could see something called add-ons I would click on this add-ons when I do that I can see this add-ons manager has loaded now I want to search my add-on firebug over here so what I will do is I will type firebug on the search box and start searching it so you could see it is loading under available add-ons it is actually searching and here the first option firebug 2.0.7 this is what i require so to install it it's very simple i will just click on this install button and the installation would start as you can see it is been installed it was very quick the firebug has been installed now if you would see on the top right hand corner you could see some bug icon over there this is actually firebug now if i click over there the firebug would launch so i click here and at the bottom i could see this this is the actual firebug here you have many options html css dom cookies like with the help of this firebug we could extract these internal html css or other dom properties of the HTML page so basically Firebug helps in extracting these properties how to actually do that I will show you in a separate tutorial this tutorial focuses only on installation and configuration of Firebug and Firepath so the first part installation of Firebug has been completed I would click this red button on the right hand corner to close Firebug now we'll do the the installation of fire fire path it is also very this is this it has the same steps i would type fire path here in the search box start searching the page is getting loaded and here i could see fire path 0.9.7.1 to install it again i'll click this install button now you can see fire path has been downloaded and if you could read over here it is asking me for a restart so i would be able to see firepath only after restarting this mozilla firefox browser so i would click over here and restart the browser so as you can see the browser has been restarted now if i want to see firepath i will not be able to see directly here as we could see firebug firepath would be within firepath so with oh, sorry i'm sorry firepath would be within firebug so i would again click this bug icon and if i would see here the last option i could see something called firepath which means firepath has been successfully installed so we have completed installation of firebug and firepath on the firefox browser how to actually use Firebug and Firepath? I've become covering it in separate tutorials. This the focus of this tutorial was only on installation and configuration of Firebug and Firepath, which we have successfully completed. So hope to see you soon in my next tutorial.